Right, as Catan so eloquently puts it, it is never not time for incest. We're back with the Ugo dynasty, and we're continuing on our attempt at building up chin points. We've got to get chin points in order to buy the right to expand. If I want another county, I currently have six, and the seventh one would cost me 20 chin points. We only have four. And that's what our new breeding lass here is all for. Hafrid Hafrid's daughter which I'm told is an antiquated and no longer used surname where you say it's somebody's daughter, but uh, Son is obviously still used quite a bit in Swedish. Oh god, that, that revealed more Swedish uh, knowledge than I'm comfortable uh, knowing. In any case, uh, she's hopefully going to be what births us out a whole new ranch of albinos to do some more inbreeding with. We've had some ups and some downs. Um, for example, I was really trying to get these two albino uggos together, but they have insisted on being as far apart from each other as possible, and now Selbleith uggo is over the hill, so even though they married, they produced no children. A real shame, since there's nothing indicating that she would be infertile in any way, but now she's passed it, so I'm just going to unpin these characters. Um, all right. <clears throat> that's right, we had fan of gaming pop out. Hunchback Inbred, and now married off to Ulrike Ugo, uh, matrilineally, so the new children will be of House Ugo. Unfortunately, this one, Super Pie, came out perfectly. So I made a couple of changes to this. Um, I had a shower thought that the rules as they are uh, encourage me to just go and seduce every genetic defect around, which is fairly low risk. It's not no risk, because adultery is a bit of a sin, but... Uh, it just seemed a bit cheap. I didn't want it to be nothing but seduction around here. If I'm going to sed uh, seduce, I want it to be with my own family here. So I'm not going to count any offspring anymore that aren't born into House Ugo. So if they are bastards, I'm going to have to legitimize them or else say no to those fat, uh, fat points. Um, but to counter that, I've also capped the costs. I don't want counties to end up costing like 50 or 60 chin points down the line, so those are capped at uh, 30. Right, what's there to think about? We're playing on 1.2, that means some changes, that means some mods broke and some mods didn't break. One that broke but I'm still keeping is the expanded alerts. I actually quite like that they still pop out even if the images are broken on them because they've got some great alerts going. Uh, we need to sort out some things. One thing we need to sort out is what we're doing. Now, uh, it was it almost went undetected but it was pointed out Doc Spengler's distinguishingly hip. He actually came out without defects. I don't know if there are some defects in him which are not uh, not shown, because you can have latent defects within you which either get passed on or uh, or removed on the next offspring. But uh, we may, but I'm looking to get Albino. I wouldn't mind getting some intelligence go uh, going in there, because I definitely don't want stupid. It's really painful, and intelligence should offset some of the other horrors that we're, uh, we're putting on ourselves. My defects are mental, says Doc Spengler. Uh, sure. Right, uh, 1.2 I was trying to talk about. There's some horrifying things done with army raising. I don't think that's going to affect us just yet. No, it does. Okay, great. Uh, the game is kind enough to split your armies up for you, anticipating that you're going to raise your entire army. But I usually don't want to raise my entire army. I usually just want to raise men-at-arms and mercenaries. But it, regardless, uh, splits them up very handily for you. And I hate it. I really hate it. I hope to God that gets uh, reverted. I've played around with it quite a bit, and I've never found it to be useful. I've just found it to be a pain. Um, so I'm deeply unhappy with that. Right, another thing was old man money. There are some old men out there, and I've got my sights on them. But they will no longer surrender their temp uh, temporal powers... To come and be a lowly commoner with you, you can't uh, courtier rather. As long as they're leasing from their liege, they won't join you. Not on their own accord, at least. There are always other ways to bring them in. Now you might be a greedy, wrathful individual, but the greed actually helps. Greed means that you're going to love any gifts I send you. So that tells me that uh, in order to get my old man money, I have to do it the thuggish way, which is all the encouragement I need to demand the council position of Spymaster off of you. And that way, I'll be able to build up my experience on Intrigue all the faster. Tempting to get Fertility, but uh, my Intrigue is already a bit terrible. 
So let's go for a bit of Skullduggery instead. Oh, that's right, I have a, a thing to spend here. Hmm. You know, I'd like to be able to do the shakedown. Extort subjects is incredibly powerful. So let's reset our perks. We go critical, but that's okay. Instead, get those golden obligations, which have been nerfed to hell and back, and then get the shakedown. That does mean that I'm going to need to uh, to give out one of my provinces to somebody. Probably I'm Stetten, but I have plenty of uh, plenty of baronies that would be happy to surrender themselves unto me. All right, music. I I get the idea. Uh, right. What I should really start thinking about is leasing this out to people that can breed horrible traits for me. Or, or actually, it would be good to have people that can breed some good traits. People like Anders here. Unmarried Anders. Right? I wouldn't mind having some giants around me. If I could breed you in with, say, another giant, then we could start to have some giants to pick from. Assuming that these two get together. So I shall have my knight marry that giant, and then lucky you, you can have Amstet. And it's not going to be good for you, because I'm going to shake you down at, every, at any opportunity. But uh, do enjoy. Hopefully you don't have some landed heirs or... Uh... Hey, there's my niece, uh, Ulrik Ogo. Ooh, I wonder if that'll be a problem down the line. Well, that's a problem for future me. In any case, enjoy Amstet so that I can... Uh, more or less immediately shake you down. Where are my loyal subjects, indeed? I should be notified whenever that's available. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to want to do out here. Does it at least split the mangonels? I wouldn't bank on it. After the latest patch, you get naming pop-up for all of your direct dynasty, which means any Uggo born you can see immediately if you get points. Ah, that's good. That is good. Maybe I should have allowed myself to get points for all offspring. Would encourage a bit more uh, a bit more tidying up. Oh well, it's neither here nor there. I'll consider it for next time if I must. Right, apparently you're a vassal of mine, but I just want to give the best people the jobs around here. Oh, God. The idea of a powerful vassal who's just a uh, baroness is a bit laughable. In any case, you're the best we got going. And Urika, well, you're not the best, but at least you like me a bit more. So let's uh, let's keep you around. As for a court physician, it can't be you. It should generally, in my opinion, be the bishop. They tend to have good learning. They don't always, though. It's a real bummer when they don't, because that hurts. Anything else the game wants me to care about? Disabled buildings. That's probably duchy building in Prague. Yes, I would like that chateau to work, but I'm only allowed one duchy right now, and it's Austria currently. It's tempting to move my capital over here and embrace Czech culture. In fact, it's probably a very good idea, especially since they have better armored footmen for me to uh, to get. Well, you only get one shot at it. I think I might uh, move my capital over to Prague and uh, and take that culture. Some buildings may become inactive in the county of Wien. Why? I don't think so. Do the Czechs have better tech? I think they have better tech, but that's something I can check. Compared to us, ooh, well, they don't have knighthood. But they almost have knighthood, and I'm far farther, uh, far farther on in Castle Bailey's. But that's... Ooh, you're not very good at what you do either. Uh, I also have to consider the tribal tech. They've got it all, but they have Table of Princes and these uh, very good men-at-arms. Those base stats, 47-27. I believe I was comparing these earlier to the, uh, to the regular Armored Footman. It's a little bit better, but the percentage helps out, and the fact that they are better in forest, mountains, and hills is really good, as well as that screening. Not that I ever plan to lose my battles. But they do tempt me. I think I was eyeing these uh, these guys up before. Hmm. This is a really big draw, though. How seniority law this early is terrific, especially since we already have maxed out um, crown authority. 
Germans get good pikemen down the line. How far down the line are we talking? If it's late medieval, then I'm certainly not going to be that interested in it. Oh, the Zweihanders? 4232. That is very good pikemen, but late medieval is very far away. So I'm not too sure I'm uh, all that interested there. I wonder if uh, the Czechs get anything down the line. I think I expect a bit more out of the um, out of the tech down the line in this game. Innovations are maybe a bit too stagnant. In any case, uh, I think it's worth going for. Hang on, hang on. There's something else in high medieval right now. Where would it take to get to? Um, here we go. High partition and house seniority are under heraldry if wanted to go for it. Are you sure you want to play as old men? Well, I'm not so sure I want to be Bavarian. It sounds a bit, you know, Bavarians. Whereas the Czechs? Hmm. Not an easy choice, but the, the ability to set... Well, you know, whatever. There's no need for us to do it right now. As long as I don't buy more armored footmen all too soon, it shouldn't be a big deal. We can consider that either way. Anything else the game wants me to care about? Oh, Graz has one as well. Graz has military schools. That's certainly not going to be active, so I don't need to worry about these. Of course, we can declare wars. Prisoners could be ransomed, you say. Oh, man. The, the, hold on. Are you sure? Oh, it's just some courtier of his. Well, I'd rather have a favor, truth be told. Who is this guy? Yeah, he's not very good, so off you trot. And Urika. That yeah, would cost to imprison them, so no thank you. Right, that's a whole lot of not much. Are we ready to get going yet? I'm not so sure. Fan of gaming and Ulrich are breeding, but perhaps not enough. You're just my courtier, which is a shame. Perhaps I should have landed you two. But I didn't. I was actually trying to breed some other things. And I don't want to build anything up right now. Decisions. Right. Um... I'd like to go on a pilgrimage, but let's see what we get for being overstressed first. Mental break, dark thoughts, guilt and shame plaguing me as of late. All my sins, flaws and failings. Well, I'm certainly not going to be improvident. Drunkard isn't that bad. But I'd rather just be strong. Ah. Well, here's a source of strength for me. A bit of tyranny to start off our reign is probably a good sign. We haven't accrued any yet, have we? Not at all. So why take little when we can take lots? Gain dread. Gain dosh. Going up towards our nat uh, natural dread. And then we should burn that money and that stress at enjoying some nice feasting, pilgrimaging, and hunting. A good call for us, most likely. Once again, our beloved uh, liege wants to grant us land. Unfortunately, we don't have the points, but it seems like he's keen to do this constantly. So I'll just keep declining that. And if I'm going to grab land, I'd want to take land off of uh, Bohemia, because it's really, really good land. Let's get feasting, though. It occurs that your improvident is an incredible stress trait. You're allowed to just flatly pay down stress with money, which is just a number. It's not always just a number. Right, I can demand payment with this dot. Wow, actually. Huh, I thought when you had that golden obligations, whenever you ransomed somebody, you'd get as much as the hook would be worth. So that's good to know. I can just demand payment on you down the line for another 50 buckets. Baron Hartwig, my brother. Witchy secret. Well, that's right, we should have uh, some witching. My own secret is that I'm a witch. Hopefully I can have more witchy children. Oh, that's interesting. The HRE just went partition. No more uh, no more elections. That's kind of good because it makes things more... Um, hmm. Is it good, though? I guess it's good until you spit out the Southern Baltic Empire, but as long as it's not Confederate partition, it should be okay. I was going to say it would be more... Um, Predictable what's going to happen to the HRE here. So our half-brother D. Ragonzord is there to bring our stress down some more. Good old gregariousness always there to help you out. 
If you're Czech, the people printing your gold will like you more, which is the people who matter the most. Uh, the Czechs do indeed print the gold for us like mad. They are foreigners. Filthy foreigners. Right, let's go and hunt as well. Our bravery will bring that stress down even further. Ah, no longer overwhelmed. Greetings, I've decided to make someone else. Yet look, it's not happening. Sorry, boss. I want the land, but I can't afford it. I need to make babies with Hafrid Hafrid's daughter. Oh man, is this that white stag coming once again? Alright, have it down, although I've never had it down before. I'm wondering if this thing just doesn't exist, you're just going, uh, going insane. Still, I'll have a shot at finding it again. I don't know how the events go, and I don't want to know. It would be nice to find out if I eventually luck my way into grabbing that stag. Why do I have you highlighted? Are you important to me in any way? Undin. Probably not, so I'll just cast you off right now, but there's somebody who is very important to me. And that is this walking bag of money. 56 and fine, so hopefully he persists for a while and then hands over that dosh. And we should go on a pilgrimage, hopefully uh, become a pilgrim. Hold on, I just saw that cost. 320. Scary cost. Let's go to Full Mile and go to Jerusalem then. Being a pilgrim is good for same faith opinion. And we are young, we might as well get the stuff while we're still, uh, still young and healthy. That coven, very good for health. Those lack of things like uh, hail or Amazonian, not so good for health. I've often found that the ransoming thing just isn't working the way I wanted. Oh Christ, we're sick! No time to give up though, we must plot on. Although it's worth noticing that my half-sister is the next heir. And she's popped out, uh, ugh, just a regular uggo there. I am disappointed. God, sick the moment we step away to go to Jerusalem. That's not a good sign. And we're lost. Okay, this is becoming a uh, severe penalty. No thank you. This is becoming a bit of a money sink, this pilgrimage. It is too soon to change focus. Well, I shouldn't need to. I do want to uh, advance on and abduct me some old men. Because i got a lot of costs here that need filled up. Okay, we made it. Wow, we got a lot of prestige for it. We become a pilgrim. And we're apparently a determined one. A lot of tenants say that they give you bonuses for doing the pilgrimage, but they don't like to say until you try them out. But my favorite is probably the one that gives you the wise man trait from doing it. Because that's a pretty good buff. Then again, pilgrims. Pilgrim is pretty nice in its own way. Pilgrimage done. Let's get back. We are still sick, right? So, uh, beloved court physician, help me out here. I remember when court physician was added into CK2, and I just kept hearing court physician said around all the time whilst mixed in with Swedish. What a time to be alive. Hello, am I going to get any treatment? No, I guess not. Better than botched treatment, but... Right, what's going on? Incestuous relationship. Very good. They're getting ahead of the curve here. My sister has accused my... My sister? Of a relationship with d Ragonzord. Does that mean you're going to have some incestuous children? That's a no... Well, ugly is okay. You're not doing too bad there, Double J. Hmm. Come to think of it, this was Rye Bread's doing in a way. Rye Bread started it off and Double J just couldn't help but continue. Excellent. God will judge these sinners. Double J is known for having sex... Oh, oh, Crivens! Prince Cresimir, have mercy! That's my sister. How big of a crime are we talking? She doesn't have any money to pay her way out, so... Uh, it doesn't look like I can pay her out either. Poor Double J. Did Swede say court physician with a funny accent? They say everything with a funny accent. 
but it gets less funny the more you hear it. It's funny. Oh, right. I was thinking you were my patriarch, but no, you're my patriarch, and of course you love me for, uh, for me being a pilgrim. You can gift her the ransom money. Yeah, but I don't need to, right? I'm, I'm about to be making heirs of my own in about six years. Albinos, I hope. I don't think the odds are good if only one of us is an albino. What is it, 20%? So hopefully we get some other genetic defects popping out. I really need to get... Um... Well, perhaps I can select my player heir as somebody who has albino, then get together with another albino, and then really pump out the points. Oh my god, he constantly wants to give me vassals. Get the message, man. I'm grateful that you want to keep giving it to me, but... And there's a the thing, it could be any other message popping up there. Oh, oh, I haven't had a grand right. Right, that needs to change, because I might be able to advance myself with a uh, skullduggery focus here. And you know a thing or two about intrigue. Can I set your lifestyle? No, no I can't. And you don't have one, man. Get with the program. Ooh. I like this guy. You're the guest of honor. Screw uh, Kniza Ugo. Yeah, you know, I think I want to keep you around. Uh, 70, 70, 70, whatever the way, this looks pretty critical for my stress. I'm pretty sure my charisma can see me through here. Oh, there we go. I lead the crowd through the ceremony, study their reactions before long. I'm riding in a wave of excitement. Okay, Marshall isn't too shabby because I've really found that Serve the Crown is pretty good. That control growth just works for itself and the Dread will work nicely with me. Share his carnal gifts with someone. No, I have a loving wife on the way. But this guy, quite like him. No, Marshall, uh, Marshall Unlock for free is too damn good. Any event that can give you those, and it's just so good. Not that I think we have any control problems, but I'm certain now that we will not. Yeah, even grass is doing okay. I got an event in the previous stream where the uh, HRE actually reduced my obligations, and I'd love for that to happen again. But I have discovered something. Even though I'm a new ruler, I can't actually change my, uh, my contract. The fact that it was changed once when I was, uh, or rather when Doc Spengler was a count under his dad Rybred, actually that change means I can't further change it with the HRE, so I've learned a lesson there. Do not change the contracts of your heirs, even if you land them. And it wasn't much of a gain either, I put coinage rights in Amstetten, and it didn't really pay off much at all. Development is pretty poor. Not that it does much. Still, I would love to have been able to fabricate a hook on Bertam here and use it to lower my, uh, frankly, far too high taxes. Because that money belongs to me. What's your natural dread now? It's 55, which is pretty damn good. Let's see, you're ambitious. Am I not uh, guardian you? I should definitely be your guardian so I can raise my wife to be the person I want them to. Sadly, though, you don't want me to raise my own wife. Dang. If I had a hook on you, that would change, but I can't put a hook on you just yet. Might consider it, though. If I got a hook on you and then uh, used it to raise my own wife, I could make her, I don't know, gregarious and brave. That way we'd like each other quite a lot. Otherwise, though... Not a whole lot on our... Ooh, yeah, I need to demand that payment off of you. What good's a hook if I'm not punching gold out of people I don't like? Six or... Yeah, you're not worth really anything now, are you? 35, 57. I'll ransom you for that favor first, because you're older and more likely to die. You're just a waste of time, aren't you? And then I'll punch that money out of you later on down the line. 
Ah, I'm glad to see the Holy Roman Empire big and strong. It'd be a real pain if they were getting ravaged by France. I was playing an offline campaign in Italy. Uh, I was playing as the Count of Genoa, 867, and uh, France and Germania just bully Italy. Fortunately, my Italy survived, and then, well, within, I think, one generation, I'd taken it all over. It's not a... It's not difficult to climb your way up high. That's why I'm glad for this campaign that severely limits my expansion. All right, Kaiser Siguin, I think you'll find that I deserve to be your spy master, whether you like it or not. Nice thing is, if I wanted to change out my position, I could always kill you off as his spy master and use that opportunity to... Just wanted to check that I couldn't change this. Oh wait, I'm stressed out? What did I do to cause that? Maybe somebody died or something. In any case, content, brave, and gregarious. I'll have to wait for another opportunity. Maybe someone will invite me to a feast. That'd be nice. Like my new liege. Really glad he had uh, partition and not confederate partition, or else... I do think we would have seen a break off of the Southern Baltic Empire. Can't be sure. But what's kind of cool is that it's drifting over here. The whole kingdom of Poland's drifting into the empire, the HRE. Soon it'll be unstoppably large. Alright, my niece. Oh, what? I, I hook you up with this hunchback inbred fool. But you're actually getting it on with Ansel of Syria. Seldom have I been so disgusted with a child of mine. Can't bring you to the court. Which is a shame because you're actually really good for prowess. Man, rye bread is probably smiling up in heaven or down in hell. He really encapsulated this campaign. No, Kaiser. Much as I want that land, I can't have it. Yeah, he's just going to constantly try to gift me the rest of this um, this duchy. Which is an interesting way to cripple, um, well, cripple him. Because he can only have so many subjects. It's quite a lot as an empire. But he certainly wants to get rid of these crummy little counties and put them under the dukes. Because the AI loves to follow, well, as best they can, follow the de Jure pattern. Right, time for the shakedown. And unfortunately, it's... <laughs> Oh, well, no, I thought it would be Count Anders, but it's actually uh, my Baron who's getting the shakedown. What's a little bit more tyranny? Especially when it grants me extra money and extra dread. Goodness, I love extorting subjects. It's so much money. It's not old man money. Oh, heavens no, whatever is. But it's still good money. I wonder if I could convert you to witchcraft. Unlikely. I should probably sway him whilst I have the time, because when I do abduct him over, I'm going to want him to have a good opinion of me. Makes it a lot easier to chuck people in prison. Swaying him, plus getting greed going with him, should make it relatively easy to chuck him into jail. But that kind of money would really bolster the uh, Austrian economy. I've already built up much of what I want to build up already. I don't think I want... Oh, good job. <laughs> What's going on, my bishop? Ooh, my bishop's got a bit too much money as well. This, oh, right, it's about this bloomin' stag again. This search for yours for a mere beast, I have to admit, it worries me. It is a messenger from God. Oh, he, he doesn't believe in me. That's fine, though, he's terrified. Does that actually show the money that they give you here? I thought they... There we go. Was this here before? Mm. It's alright, short rain will go away. He'll give me that money. And he acts as a little bank. Not to mention he builds up the lands. I haven't actually decided which I think is stronger. Lay clergy or uh, whatever the other one is. Game, help me out here. What? Which one is it again? He's trying to remember. Is it that one? It'll come to him in due time. There it is. Theocratic or lay clergy. Lay clergy allows you to hold the temples themselves. 
Um, which really, in effect, just gives you more uh, more holdings that you can control yourself in a, in a given province. Which I think, as the game goes on, becomes weaker, because you'll want to have more powerful counties like this, where you hold one of them and the rest are uh, just giving you straight money. But early game, when the only land, if you have a lot of children, the only land you can be sure to have is one province. It can be really good to have, say, a castle and two temples that you can immediately revoke. So you can have uh, four holdings yourself, at least. Still. At most. Not the way Jake plays. I've already lost track of whatever I was saying that encumbered at most. Do you have money yet? Oh, I'm going to come knocking for those ducats. Right, for years my skill in manners and etiquette have served me well, and it occurs to me that this knowledge may be of use to you. I'd be happy to share what I know in order to gain your favor. Why would the King of Poland want a hook on me? What could he even use it for? Etiquette lessons for five years. I don't know, 150 prestige speaks to me, so you can just sod right off. My diplomatic skills are great, and with a bit of fame, secular opinion's going to be pretty nice. I'll help keep that errant bishop on my side, if nothing else. You're the spy master now, Jake. A hook is pretty great. Oh yeah, everyone's going to want their hooks on me. Right, truth is relative. Ah, oh, crumbs, it's three to get to kidnapper, isn't it? Still, uh, allowing the fabrication of hooks could be pretty useful. Good lord, Finland. Ah, at this point. Wait, she's lazy? Oh. Well, thankfully we're not diligent or else we'd hate lazy, but still, I worry a bit about that. Wait, you can be ambitious and lazy? Mm, I guess so. So I really want to be the emperor, but I'll do it tomorrow. If I had a hook on you, I'd be able to do it, but no. What could I use a hook on you for? And I certainly could get that hook. Hmm. Since I can't actually modify my contract, I struggle to think what I would uh, use it for. Could I actually hook my head of faith? Hmm. It's not a given. Hooks are no longer useful on old men. Normally I would use a hook if I could get one to invite them over to my court. But hook or not, it's just straight up blocked for inviting them. And I don't think it's worth fabricating hooks just in order to demand payment. So that's out the window. Ambitious's opposite is content. Yeah, that makes sense. But lazy, what's the opposite of lazy? Diligent? Eh, diligent and lazy seem like things that could come together. Right. The Duchess is up to no good. Attacking Poland and attacking. Good lord, you have a claim on the HRE? You've got. You got a lot on your side there. I don't actually like you rocking the boat, but then again, you do like me. So maybe that's not so bad. I don't know why you like me so much. Death, diplomacy, brave, gregaria, sure, why not? Grant Vassal is <laughs> desperately trying to give me land. Uh, there's a thought, if you had that land, you'd probably be less keen to just give it up and more keen on consuming my land. I might just knock you off, but uh, I'm not that great at this. That actually doesn't bode well for being able to grab you. Oh, he's got no intrigue. Oh, you've got 19 intrigue. You're a bit worse, though. Still zero intrigue on the old man. That's tempting. Invite to court is still pretty much broken and very hard to pull off. I mean, you can do it for people that aren't um, aren't the court uh, court priests. The time has come for Uggo's Coven's Grand Rite. I invite you to... Ooh, sweet. I can actually join more of these. That's nice. I had a lot of... Uh, a lot of grand writers in the family, and they didn't help me much in Wallachia, but we immediately get some stewardship. Or I could burn that stress. What is more useful to me at this point? What would I get with stewardship? Golden Aplomb isn't very good. Neither of these are good. Eh. 
Ugh. Ugh. No, I think it's a good time to burn that, uh, burn that stress while I can. Be less stressed. So that we can be fully fertile to lay the seed on Hafrid's daughter. A horrifying way to put it. By the way, Jake, you can in fact get the old the Pope's old man money once. So they have found a way to destroy his uh, his papacy. Oh, if it works on the old man Pope, there is someone else who is far more important to get. And that is somewhere on this list. You. Ecumenical Patriarch. He's always landed there in Byzantion. Wait. No, that's a claim that you have. There we go. He's always bloody here. He's always making tons of money. And even if you aren't Orthodox, you'll still have him as a vassal. And you'll still get events with him. I've really been wanting to find a way to destroy this and take all that money. 10,000 monies. That's got to be one of the fattest old men banks ever. Oh, it gets fatter. This is still early game. There's a dismantle papacy decision for Orthodox, Muslim, North Slavic, and some other really... Oh, okay, so you have to do that. Then he becomes... Un right, if there was a way to unland this guy, that would be greater. But I can't find a way to do it, because this guy's fat wallet just keeps getting passed down. Nothing I do can take that dosh from him, because he always keeps that title. The ecumenicals. Might, be, might not be too bad to bring him over and give him land so he can spend that money on improving my land, but someday. Alright, four more years. Well, less than that, then you come of age. It's time to make some albinos. I can't actually expand any for a bit. Uh, for a bit. be really handy if some of Bohemia broke away, though. I mean, I'm stronger than them, but not by a whole lot. If I were to change laws right now, by the way, succession to, hmm, no, I can't, in any case, we have a problem. Anders, I gave you land and you're still angry with me. How can this be? I think the problem is Anders really wants to be on the council. And you know, oh god, never be on organized levies, never ever. There you go, Anders. That'll make you a lot happy, then you'll pass my stupid laws. I hope me turning Czech doesn't change the situation around here, but I will turn Czech. We'll move our capital up to Prague then. Some buildings may become inactive. I wonder if they will. Regardless, I'll move there, and I should be able to convert to Czech here. Every vassal sharing your culture that has counties of the new culture gets to decide. So none of these guys are actually going to decide that, but regardless, I will acknowledge who I am. Oh, the mayor actually cha Oh, you might be a duke, but you're a chattering churl. Anders, come on, man. They got really irritable. Well, don't be so irrit irritable that you can't have babies with Countess Stephanie. I really set you up there, taking inspiration from an earlier run of Dragon's Dogma. All right, what am I getting out of this? I should be able to switch over to... Not gender law, but this one. High partition, right? The Czech culture does not have heraldry. No, I'm looking for house seniority. There we go. Children hate me. Vassals hate me. Oh, I could go to regular partition, but no, house seniority looks pretty good. They're all too terrified to, uh, to say no, so let's give this a go. There we go. Oh god, that changes the air to uh, an albino with no kids. Oh yeah. Crivens, Anno, I remember you. What are you doing in England? There is something so messed up with a Wanderer mechanic. People are really ungrateful in this game. Yeah, it's just like life, right? When was the last time someone was grateful for something that you did? Alright, what do we have here? Farm estates. Regimental clearings. That's right, I like clearings. And I like the barracks. Those are two things that I think go together. Great. I feel like I lost a holding out of everything. Did I lose a holding in Veen? 
nooks and crannies. I never understand this. Why do you hire a group of discreet agents? Why would you just lose money? I don't know, but I don't want to dunk money for no good reason, so away you go. Okay, Jake, it looks like iconoclasts can replace the ecumenical patriarch. Hmm. Only does it once, right? the farm states, but it can be upgraded further. I should hold off on those upgrades until I'm a, um, a steward though, so I get the reduction in cost. Hold that thought. Clearly the wind. Hmm. Hopefully the wind will try to spook us this Sunday, because I've got a spooky weekly one-shot coming up in Dead Space. Played that game long ago. I recall it being quite good. Recht, you there. Are you important in any way? You're my steward. Baroness Jutta. But, uh, as good as you may be, I probably want that land more. Mm, it's got a barracks. This one's got a level 3 barracks, though. And you're... Uh, you look pathetic. You give me that land instead. I really like the fact you can do in your barons like that. Wanderer mechanic is annoying. My unla my un uh, unhanded heir, or maybe you meant unlanded, went wandering and died, but he took his son with you. My new heir, and I can't even bring him back to heal, uh, to reel or educate him out. Yeah, people would rather go off and die homeless and stay in the comfort of your court. Maybe it's to encourage you to actually facilitate your children, but uh, the grandkids become a real bother. Just off they go. Off they go to die. Right, if I have Prague now, I should think what I want with it. I'm not sure I want earthworks. I certainly don't want aviaries. Root cellars. What are my other options here? No, I don't want this vassal. EU4 had uh, AI things like that, where if you said no, they would usually take it to heart for a while. No means no, man. Military camps. Probably something I'd prefer. But I wouldn't want to change it out just yet. Anything that makes swordsmen and spearsmen better, I'm up for. One nice change at 1.2 did. Well, I say nice is that it made the buildings give percentage bonuses instead of absolute bonuses to the effectiveness of your units. Helps make your specific kind of, uh, of cultural units stronger. So where are they there? Those Zbrozhnev. Uh, they get 49% uh, boost to taking them up to 50, whereas the armoured footmen are down at 47. And 31. 20, wait, 28. Do they have less toughness? Base 20? Base 22? Wait, what? Maybe I maybe I don't like these guys. Screen is hardly appealing to me. Hmm. Maybe I should take some of the... Mm. Maybe I should switch back to... Uh, to the old culture then. Oh, jeez. Armoured horsemen are a bit crap because of that small soldier size and immense cost. Jeez, in the end, pikemen are the ones to... Oh, right, no, the big thing for Zabroj is that flat bonus in hills, mountains, and forests. That's really quite good. In any case, I'm willing to give them a go, so let's, uh, let's grab them. Jake, what's your opinion on DDDA so far? Hmm, I haven't played much of it to get an opinion. We just did the intro stuff. However, there's a big thing I always like in games, and that's where you have... Uh, a bit of cooperation against a greater foe, either against play, uh, either with players or um, or with AI. I'm not a big fan of PvP, but PvE, player versus enemy, now that really appeals. I've always liked Outbreak for that, I loved Killing Floor for it, and what I'm seeing in DDDA, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, right? Um, is that a big part of it is having your pawns and working side by side uh, to fight, and I like that a lot. I often wish that Monster Hunter had more uh, AIs that would play with you if you weren't able to play online, which was often the case when I was playing that, especially on the PSP and the PS2. PS2, online Monster Hunter, 
Uh, I mean, it worked, but I wasn't able, always able to use it. And PSP one, whoa, that got complicated. So perhaps this one will uh, see to that. I know you had the little cat things, but ugh, really. I'd rather have uh, actual fighters on my side. The fancy armor footmen also counter an additional unit type. Thank you. I knew there was something good about them that I was forgetting. Yes, these guys counter spearmen and archers. These don't counter anything. And uh, that's great because I like to work with, with uh, pikemen. So between them, cavalry and spearmen and archers are all countered. The only thing that I'm not so uh, good at countering really are armored footmen. Which is bad because they counter my spearmen. So let's just hope we don't run into too many of these. In any case, glad somebody remembered that. Right, extorting the peasants. When are they ever grateful for what they do have? Sadly, they're not giving me a lot of money. Last time I did this, got tons of dosh. I'm not too worried about Veen not liking me for extorting them. If they rise up, then I'm going to kill them with the money I extorted from them. It's like the English take on Italian mercenaries. Shady discussion. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning. And there's a wee talk that catches my ear. Something going on against the mayor that I don't really care about. He's Bavarian as well. What could this be? Um, I could just torture them. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, our mayor here is a non-believer. A harsh price for vital information. Interesting. Patient man, several hours of interrogation. Right, well the first thing I want to do is blackmail you for that hook. If you missed it, Jake, I think I was wrong. You might actually be able to repeatedly dismantle and recreate the papacy. And if you're strong enough to do that, then the 10,000 ducats you get are probably not going to matter much. 10,000 ducats I can get, like picking snot from my nose in the late game here. So I could just demand tiny amounts of payment, but uh, if you're a non-believer, maybe I should have exposed it so I could throw him into jail. That would have been a better idea, but I could only do that after he's popped out. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh god, he is old. How is he fine at the age of 91? Old age has hit his prowess down to nothing. In any case, what would I do with you? Right. Revoking a title doesn't cost tyranny if it's for a city. And he'd become my rival. Go figure. Now he's not in my court. But I could actually invite him to my court and force him in with an invite, but he wouldn't he almost certainly wouldn't go to prison. Although he has no intrigue. There's a reasonable chance that I could. I could also marry him to one of my courtiers to get him in here, but uh Actually maybe that would work. I need a female. Do I have any female courtiers going around? Not so interested in niece. Yeah, maybe I could. Niece and rival. Matrilineal. Of course that means you wouldn't be so happy. This is kind of a bit much just to get a few hundred ducats off of the guy and it will give me quite a bit of tyranny. But I'm not much of a tyr uh, tyrant right now. No, I don't think it's worth it for the money. But my thought was to bring him back and chuck him in jail for uh, for that. I will, however. Might as well make use of that to bring you back and then see what it's like to throw you into prison. Oh yeah, Christ, it wouldn't even work. And it would cost uh, piety for some reason. I guess unlawful imprisonment isn't that popular. Hmm. Oh well, it was uh, it was worth a thought. And that just means I've got this city that can't do anything, so we'll give it to some random... Don't tell me it was the same guy. Okay, it's not. Okay, that's a shame. I should have left him there, because that's a bunch of money you could have invested in the city that I just lost out on. But I wanted to experiment. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. Can you expose the secret and make him criminal? After you uh, blackmail someone for a hook, you cannot then expose the hook. 
I could expose all these witches though if I really wanted to uh, to do that. Oh well, I wonder. Even though he's my rival, maybe I could make him understand the witchy ways. It almost definitely wouldn't work, and I'm busy trying to sway someone else. Yeah, those ducats will just evaporate when he dies. If I'd left him in the city, I think it would have been inherited by the next guy. But at least this way it's run by a check. Oh, not only any check, a check as a military engineer. That can be useful. On that note, I should probably cycle out these Bavarians. I wonder if I could actually... No, well, they wouldn't really have any effect, would they, Bavarian or not? And especially if they're my Chancellor or something like that, it wouldn't be worth it. Okay, it was a thought I had to replace them with good uh, checks, but uh, it's not like they can do useful things for me. Right, you made that money for me yet. Good, because I think it's time for a uh, another payment. Show me those 50 ducats. And then, uh, well, shortly show me another 50. I wonder why they changed it. Normally you'd get the amount that you would get for a favor on Ransom. But now it's just small money or hook. It's just an extra step you have to do to get the same amount of money. I don't understand. Does anyone use the joke, keep them in check? I think everybody has. You never actually got that amount of money anyway, Jake. Never actually got... What, you didn't? Could have sworn you did. You always had to go through the hook process. Huh. Maybe I've been a fool all along. Okay, I'm improving Raphael's opinion of me. But I still want to do more. The odds aren't great, but the more he likes me, the less he's going to hate me by the time I black bag him into my court. And then I body bag him into my prison. Count Anders was Danish? I guess nobody's perfect, but come on, impregnate that wife. I know she's a lesbian, but try a little hard. Oh, you've already got a bunch of kids. Oh, and they're not giants. Ah, Anders is letting me down here. Well, that's the aim of the game, right? This is not a uh, this is not a rushing one, and it's certainly not a power gamed one. Much as I'd love those vassals, no, 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 we cannot. Ooh, HRE grabbed a good bit of Navara there. And they're surprisingly winning this fairly massive war against uh, Duchess What's-Her-Face. Do you need a hand in that war? Oh, I could actually join it. Come closer to being friends there. Mm, seems like a dangerous war to join in on, given the sheer number of troops. But I can't deny it's tempting to walk in there and start pillaging somebody's land for no good reason. Think of all the people I could steal there. It might shake things up a bit. Kingdom of Bohemia is still my enemy and they still have far too much power and too much money. At least I finally make more money than... Oh god, and the allied Poland. There's not meant to be historical friends in this game. It's the paradox way they couldn't resist adding more useless micro... Um, well, that's kind of what this is bothering me with. I mean, I don't raise units here, wanting them over here. I'm, I'm not I'm not happy with it. <laughs> Get rid of all of that. I'm really hoping that changes. But it was advertised in a dev diary. Oh god, right, that's bad news. Someone's trying to kill me, and they're fairly secretive about it. Uh, but it, since it doesn't have high success chance, there's a good chance that uh, you're not in on it. Hmm, this powerful vassal is slightly better than you and would actually... Oh no, that's reassigning, not assigning. Not worth it then. Always try to keep your spy master relatively happy with you. Hmm. Alright. Come on... Arbitrary. Well, this is getting worse and worse. We've inherited the... something or other. Oh, it's just a barony. Well, we can't make it uh, make use of it because our domain is over the limit, so we'll just grant it some low noble. Ah, check low noble. Nice and all, but... We need the resources for the troops if one small village in Prague has to starve. Hmm... Abandoned. Well, I don't really care about that, and I do like to get extra prestige, because we don't drown in that. I need the ins... There we go. 
No, prestige is good, and I certainly don't get enough of it right now. Our, uh, our house is too small for me to get a lot, although 40 living members quite a bit. Getting stressed out thinking about that blooming heart. Alright, you know what? Go on a hunt, see if you can find it. Yeah, I like this big Anders guy, but I'm not so happy that he's not making big babies with his equally big wife. Hunting trophy. Mmm. Mmm. No. Let's, let's be humble and honest here. Not things I'm familiar with, but we'll give it a go anyway. Dig for dirt. Not that I really want to find secrets, but I do want kidnapper. Also, I bet the person trying to kill me is that old uh, mayor from before. So. So, so, so. Yeah, he's my only rival. He might be terrified of me, but I don't think that's enough. My courtier! Right, if I find him guilty of attempted murder, then I could throw him into jail for that. So hopefully I find him. He does not have a lot of secrecy, so I should be able to get him. That's assuming he doesn't succeed. It would be a real shame if he did. Oh, he's ailing. Can I not just throw him into prison here and now? Hopefully he gets found out and I'll get, um... I'll be able to throw him into jail and banish him and take all that money. That's my plan, at least. Humble and honest, as with your sisters. Speaking of my sisters, Double J is still rotting away in prison there. Yeah, I'd be melancholic there as well, most likely. Oh god, Catholic Aragon actually popped out a bit more. I was laughing at them for just for claiming to be a kingdom with a one holding county there in Bornholm, but uh, they're growing. They're getting to bigger and uh, better places. Right, you there. You look like you have money that could be mine. Ooh. Well, if you're not worth anything other than ten ducats to me, then you're worth ten ducats to me. never actually got that amount of money, you just have to go, oh, that's the getting hooks and letting people out. Okay, I've done a good job swaying the Patriarch, although if I still have chances to keep doing it, I think I'd take it. But I'm very close to having a wife, and as soon as I have a wife, I'm going to want to bed a wife, so let's let go of you. Murder me. Yeah, give it your best. I'm still going to chuck you in jail if I can. I had somebody plot to kill me, and they were an Emperor of Hispania. And the event still let me throw them in jail. So, uh, just like that, I was able to imprison an emperor. Something ain't quite right with that. HRE seems to still be doing fine in that war. Still trying to grant me vassals, though. Still trying to grant me vassals. That seems wrong. Ah, many things seem wrong about this. It's big and complex games. So I don't begrudge it having those kinds of things. As long as it's not game-ending stuff, although I have seen people have things like, uh, what was it, uh, Genghis Khan or someone appeared and immediately took over all of his kingdom that was all of this. Or being char- cha- yeah. Being challenged with a duel that you have 0% chance of winning and then you lose your entire tribal empire. Thankfully I've never seen that, so maybe it's only for some cultures. Right, fan of gaming, why are you not giving me hideous children? All you're giving me are disappointments. I mean, where the hell did this come from? I'm expecting inbred, hunchbacked freaks, and you are failing to deliver. Okay, probably because you're far away like that. Stop. Uh, stop adventuring like that. It's madness. 